Our Uber's two minutes away. Where are you guys headed? Uh, Iceland, actually. Like filming this series called Gather. We just kind of check out different gatherings around the world. Define gathering, right? It could be 10 people, could be 100,000. This one's a music festival called Sonar. I lose my phone in the house. Got my passport. Spectacles, testicles, wallet, and watch. Love it. Okay, so uh, so Iceland is basically this island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. It's on this volcanic Dane. It was inhabited by berserker Vikings that turned to the poorest fishermen. And then uh, in 1945, after the war, all of a sudden we were rich. You know, we made so much money off the war. As you say in Iceland, bless us, the blessed war. We ride the wave of, of economic growth in the West pretty successfully. And Iceland turns into this uh, pretty wealthy country. Iceland is magical, and, and there is an energy here that I cannot be explained. But we don't have any elves or fairies here, you know? We have probably the most musicians that are successful per capita, I would say, in the world. I mean, they managed to get that ground traction of exposure because of the tight-knit community and the events that are hosted here. It's a small country, so word of mouth travels extremely fast. All right, we just landed in the capital of Iceland, Reykjavik. We're gonna meet up with our boy Bjarki, who is leading the underground electronic music scene down here in Iceland. He's doing a live show here at Lucky Records, which is actually the largest record store in Iceland. Has a huge selection of local artists on tap, huge vinyl selection. I picked up a local paper here on the side of the street, and it's Bjarki himself. Be yourself. We are releasing music that is weird. It's just like also that we can reach into people that are weird, maybe more like us, you know? And that is that is the beauty about it. this music as kids. Nobody understood us. We were bullied by listening to... We were uh, bullied? Break, I was taking to the headmaster. Like, he was like, are you taking heroin? I was like, no, I'm not taking heroin. And they were like, no, you're a heroin junkie. And I was like, I'm 12. Ooh. Hi there, I'm Thorin Gionsson, also known as Lord Pussweb from Reykjavik, Iceland. Let's get it. I was like a little punk rocker when I was like 11, 12 years old. I've been rapping with my friends in the neighborhood since like after I moved back from Cali. Oakland Hills kind of oh, a little yeah. bit outside of San Francisco. When I came back, oh, like this kid was in America. That's so cool. It's so much easier, honestly, to get ahead here when you're doing specific stuff like this. We finally left Reykjavik for a little bit, checking out Lord Pusswhip's house. It's definitely a little rule, not too sure how to pronounce the town. Lord Pusswhip's mother is a pretty well-known uh, sculptor in Iceland. We're gonna check out the house, check out some of the artwork. My name is Steinun Thorarinsdóttir and I'm a sculptor and have been for 40 years. I come from Iceland, but studied in England and Italy. And I've been doing this for a long time. Since I came back, Iceland isn't as isolated as it used to be, like artistically. For example, in the music scene, in the, in the art scene in general, I think it's becoming like a boiling pot of many different influences. And that's because of all the visitors, for sure. But also the thing with Icelanders is that many Icelanders go abroad for studying and so on. But most Icelanders also come back. We sometimes say that we are a little bit like a migrating person, that you, you leave, but then you come back. These people have been bringing in new influences, new experiences. Tell a boy they're not looking at me. Me and Atta, now I'm murder here. Better you 
Alright, do a little road trip outside of Reykjavik, like an hour and a half out. We got a pretty cool waterfall. Not too sure how to pronounce the name. It's like Gold for Green, Gold for Line, Gold for something. Not the most ideal driving conditions. Pretty wet, pretty cold, super snowy. A little tired, a little jet lag. It takes time to kind of understand what, what it is that you are looking for in music. Does it have to have melodies? Does it have to does it have to have melodies? Does it have to have melodies? moment in time I helped to run Falk Records. Falk means Fuck Art Let's Kill. Fuck Art Let's Kill. We release all sorts of weird music. We invite artists to come and play nice and artists that are doing stuff that is not happening in this country right now. What's the motive behind that one? Because we're fucking idiots. So we just got to Bjarki's uh, sound set up, main stage. We were here last night, got pretty wild. As you can see, I'm a little kind of moving slow this morning, but it was totally worth it. So I'm pretty excited about tonight. Being a DJ is probably similar thousands of years ago, a hundred thousands of years ago, when we were just dancing in front of the fire. And there was always this leader playing music, banging the drums for a couple of days. There was always this somebody who controls the rhythm and leads the pack. Being a DJ is, is a little bit of that feeling. You're their leader. Every location has its own sound, and it's like Iceland isn't different in that way. We are a very young society. 60 years ago, we were living in turf huts. All these nations that you are talking about are nations who have been huge societies of millions of people for thousands of years. I mean, I don't want to say that we are feral, <laughs> but uh, That's the first word that comes to mind. Yeah, this big baby push. You can show me love day one. It's dumb. It's interesting about me. That's cool. Thing one, thing two, should we go? Okay, let's go. Get the fuck out. It's an experience. 
experience, which yeah. is cool. But it is fucking dirty. <laughs> The music scene in Iceland, it's as great as people say, but it's as shit as everywhere else. Because we are so few, we are only 300,000 people, everyone feels that maybe they can make a difference. At least leave something behind in people's minds. There's always this drive to, uh, you know, we take something new, but we make it our own. And I feel like it translates into our music. There's a very unique sound here. Icelanders hear music from abroad and they, they misinterpret it in a beautiful way. The stuff that is really good here is on a par with anything out there. It really is. All these bands have managed to make a living and get an eye on the international stage from this tiny, tiny country that's like a small town in, in other countries. You know, maybe it's that, or maybe it's just because we're an island in the Atlantic and there's nothing to do but drink fucking make art. Well, that's my theory. <laughs> 